Hey folks, I want to talk to you about something I haven't talked about in a while. Even though I did kind of mention a little bit about this in the last video when I talked about that uh, crappy shipping company that I use out of Florida called My US Shipping, which I'll never use again because all they do is screw you out of your money. But anyway, I want to talk to you about ordering from Amazon, okay? And I'll get started on it right after this. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Raja. Hello there. So, man, what a what a beautiful day. You don't know what you're missing. I, people are talking about not coming here. I don't know why. Are, are you guys on drugs or what? I mean, come on. You're, you're supposed to be, you know, you're my age and we're mature adults and yeah, shit happens wherever you go. I mean, this, there's no reason for you to think about, you know, to stop you thinking about moving to Ecuador. There are people that still want to come here. There's lots of new real estate development going on. And, and guess what? You can order from Amazon and have it delivered here. Okay? And that's what I'm going to talk to you about. And also, I'm kind of kind of touch on the little power outage problem that we had last month. And uh, you're going you're gonna to love that. But anyway... On the last day of last month, I placed an order with Amazon for some shorts. I ordered three pairs of shorts. It's the kind of shorts that I wear every day. I got a pair of them on right now. They're called Wrangler Essentials. They're relatively inexpensive. I got three pairs for $74.97. I should have just said $75. Bucks. But anyway, the best part about it is that I ordered them from Amazon. Amazon charged me only... $51.80 shipping and handling. They didn't charge me any tax. They just charged me the cost of the shorts and shipping and handling. That included import fees, everything. But guess what? Here's the best part about it. I placed the order on April 30th, the last day of the month. They shipped the very next day on May the 1st, and they arrived here at my apartment in Monta on May the 6th, five days. They promised April 17th, okay? No, is that right? Yeah, no, actually, it was, it promised May 17th, not April. They were promised to be here May the 17th, and they got here May the 6th, five days. Pretty amazing, you know. I, what is there to complain about that? They shipped via Amazon Global Expedited Shipping, and they got here in one piece. And the thing is, when you when you go to Amazon and you want to change your address to an Amazon or to a Monte address, okay. And I know what everybody's thinking. Don, I thought there was no postal system, no addresses. But I'll explain that in just a second. When you do that, when you change your Amazon address to your Monta location, okay. When you log on to Amazon, in the upper left-hand corner, it'll say Amazon Ecuador, okay? The only limitation that you're going to find, there are some things that you can't buy. Ironically, one of them is a book that I wanted, 500 Spanish Verbs, not available in Ecuador. Go figure. Not available in Ecuador from Amazon. But you can get all kinds of clothing I got my three pairs of shorts. It took less than a week to get here. And yeah, I paid $51.80 for shipping and handling. But you know what? You, you're, like in my case, I'm not going to find these shorts here in Ecuador. Nowhere. And not even anywhere near the quality, I'm sad to say. Uh, but anyway. I know. I know. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I can't wait to see some of these comments, you know. On the addressing, you do have an address. Even though we don't have a postal system here, we do have, you do have an address, but it's kind of weird. Like in my case, it's the name of my apartment building, my apartment number, the street that this apartment building's on, and the cross street. That's my address, Monta, Ecuador, okay? The thing about when you have something shipped to Ecuador, to Monta, okay? Same thing with Cuenca. All the delivery people know these buildings. You know, it's just like when I used to take taxis all the time and I'd say, I want to go to Santorini. Santorini is a building on my street. And all the taxis know, well, they know where Santorini is. 
the shipping companies know even more than the taxis, and they, they, they like when it when the stuff comes here via DHL, that's who Amazon Global Expedited Shipping uses is DHL Express. It comes into the DHL office in Monta, and then Serbian Traga delivers it to my building. Serbian Traga knows every square inch of this place. They know where everything is. So that's that. <laughs> On the power outages, I want to just tell you a little story about the power outages. Last month, we had 60, here at my place, 62 and a half hours of no power, okay? And these were like, started on 414 and ended on 429. I kept meticulous record right there, all right? And like 414, two hours, 416, 12 to 6 a.m., four hours. But anyway, it was like two, two hours one day, nine the next, eight the next, eight the next, eight the next, eight and a half the next, then three, 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 then six, and then three, and then on the last day, one hour. A very good friend of mine told me that she thinks this whole power outage thing was political. Well, who knows, okay? You can believe what you want to believe, all right? You listen to who you want to listen to, because guess what? We haven't had a power outage since then. It's not since 429. That was the last power outage that I've had here. You know, you may think, oh, well, so what? It's power outage. So what? You read a book or something. Well, you know, when it's off for three hours in the daytime, that's the longest three hours you've ever experienced. Especially when we're so spoiled. We North Americans were so spoiled because we have to have our internet. We have to have our TV. We have to have, you know, our fans blowing, air conditioning running and everything. Boy, when the power goes off, now in my case, our gen we have a generator here that keeps our refrigerators going, our hallway lights, our elevators, our garage doors. On one day last month, on 417, the elevators died during the power outage, and I had to walk 10 floors to my apartment. And that's not easy for a fat old man like me to do. Now, I know what people are thinking, Don, if you don't hang in there, need. And I can't be not you're a guest. Don't be complaining about Ecuador and about power outages and water outages. If you don't like it, leave, you know. How would you like it if I end my videos by saying, if you don't like my video, bite me? Yeah, those are people I love when people say, if you don't like it here, leave. Look, you bite me, okay? That's what I say to you anal jerks that say, if you don't like it there, leave. You're just a guest. Well, no, I'm not a guest. I'm a resident here. I'm a, I have a visa and I am a freaking resident here. Don't tell me I'm a guest. Don't get me started on this shit, okay? So anyway, that's what I got. It's a beautiful day here. I'm just kind of cloudy and overcast, warm and muggy. But guess what? The beach. Look at this video. Look at this. I captured this before I shot this video. Look at how smooth the, water, the beach is. The beach is like that for as far as I can see. There's not a single rock on the beach. We've had the calmest ocean waters ever since I returned back in the 1st of April. Uh, it's been beautiful. Beautiful beach. Perfect for walking. So come on down. Folks, if you're still thinking that you don't want to come here because you think it's too dangerous, don't think that. Just come on. Okay? I'm still here. Okay? Several of my friends have left. Speaking of which, next Friday I'm going to be doing a Zoom meeting and I'm going to turn it into a video of a friend that left here and moved to Panama City. And I'm going to do a Zoom meeting with her and we're going to talk about why she left, what she liked and didn't like about Ecuador and Monte and what does she like about Panama City. And I'm going to try to cover as much of it as I can. Okay, so that's all I got for this. It's a little short one, but... If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, fight me. And I say that with peace and love, okay? See you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.